you guys, it's Kyle from All You Want Reviews. Um, I'm tired, so I'm always tired when I make videos, but um, I have a lot more Call of Duty Black Ops classified news for the Vita. Um, you're not going to find this on websites because I had to get it through a lot of hard work. Um, but yeah, the first video should be somewhere on the screen right now. Click that if you haven't seen that. Um, this is going to be another long video. I'll try to talk fast, so try to keep up. Um, you actually choose your kill streaks. You don't have all seven at once, obviously. Uh, there's no Call of Duty Elite for this game. Every mission you select uh, in single player, you ha have like the opportunity to pick a weapon um, for replayability, I guess. Uh, you weren't able to pick teams in private match, but they're working on that right now. They said uh, they said kill cams can come with DLC down the road. It's just not gonna come with the game right when you get it. Uh, you don't need an online pass right when you buy this game, so uh, you can buy it used and still go online without paying. Um, they said that they wanted to add kill cams uh, before launch. I think I just said that. Uh, in custom matches, you can change the playlist, match mode, and the number of players, but that's all for now. So no hardcore mode, I'm assuming. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I could be wrong, though. Uh, there is sound when you hit someone, like when you shoot someone in Call of Duty, that sound that it makes, um, there's that in this game, um, so just be glad that there's that, and there's a HUD marking, so, like, if you get shot from the left, then there could be a blood splat on the left side, so you know what direction you got shot from, like any other Call of Duty, which is nice that they're actually making it seem like Call of Duty, not another Resistance game. Um, now something really weird about this game is that the care package it's not just uh, uh, I can't think um, kill streaks yeah uh, you can also get ammo grenades and other weapons from the uh, care package so it's like I might be able to get a FAMAS or something I have no idea um, in this game kill streaks do count towards other kill streaks which is good because I like that a lot more than the other one how it's like kill streaks don't so I guess it's more for skilled players but uh, whatever Floats your boat, I guess. Um, you can aim down sight while jumping. I don't know why I was told that. I guess that was a big deal. Um, there's sensitivity adjustments, so that's nice, too, because some people don't like it too much. Uh, there's 10 single-player missions. I'm not sure the length, so I'm kind of skeptical about that. But I think multiplayer is going to be fun after hearing all this stuff that I'm sharing with you guys, because I love you all so much. So much. Um... The game takes place between Call of Duty Black Ops and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. There's missions that branch the two games together, so it's kind of cool how it's like that. Uh, they say it's a fast-paced game, even though it's only at 30 frames per second. It'd be really cool if it was at 60. I don't know if the Vita can handle that, though, but um, it'd be cool. Uh, you throw grenades by touching the icon on the screen, or you can drag and hold your finger over like in Resistance. Whoops, sorry. Resistance Burning Skies, how you can touch and hold and drag it over, but that took way too long, so you just tap it on the screen to throw the grenade. Um, you can pick up weapons that enemies drop with their attachments on it, so that's really good. I was kind of wondering about that. I'm really glad that they're trying to make it feel like Call of Duty, not just another game like Resistance. I liked Resistance personally, though, but uh, I got old fast. Um, there are no death streaks in this game, which is kind of good because I hated those ever since they came out. Uh, the leaderboards from left to right, like after a game, it'll be the rank or prestige, um, your emblem, your rank number, your clan tag, name, score, kills, deaths, and assists. In every game, that's how it's going to be read from left to right. Um, you place kill streaks with the touch screen, so you just like drag it on the touch screen and place it wherever. It's not going to be with the joysticks. Um, there is, I repeat, a mini-map, obviously. That's really cool that they're adding that. I just think a mini-map's great. Because um, without it, it just would be weird. Kind of like how I d there's no vibration for it, so I think that's going to be weird, too. Uh, you can press and hold select to see the scoreboard anytime during the game. And the bodies in the game, obviously, they do disappear. But in Resistance, they fell to the ground. They disappear instantly right when they hit the ground, basically. This game, it's not like that. They'll fall, hit the ground, wait a couple seconds, then disappear. I don't know. They just said that that was important. Um, there's five maps to play on uh, for Hostiles mode. The kind of cheap ripoff Modern Warfare 3's, uh, I don't remember the mode. 
Or it's like if people run at you, shoot them, next wave kind of deal. Uh, you can be prone in this game. That's pretty cool. You could actually lay down in this game. Uh, use the kill streaks by touching the mini map to enlarge the mini map on your screen. Then you tap where you want to use it at. So like a helicopter, tap the top right of the screen on the mini map. It'll open up bigger. Touch wherever. You're good. Um, there's a total of 34 trophies in this game, and it is confirmed that there are 10 prestiges. Uh, generally, you won't have AI people and single player. It's just gonna be you, which is kind of stupid. I don't really like that. Uh, it makes it feel small without other AI there. Um, weapon colors cannot be edited, which sucks. But there are tomahawks. Oh my god, I love tomahawks so much. And uh, not Modern Warfare. What the heck? Sorry for saying that. Um, Black Ops. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. Teams sadly are assigned automatically, so you can't switch teams. Um, or you can't be partnered up with your buddies. It's just going to be assigned. However, there are 20 primary weapons and 10 secondary. Um, I think I said it, but yes, there are hit markers. If I didn't say that, then there you go. The map shipment comes back from Call of Duty 4. Here is the full list of map names. Nuketown, not, no, I was just kidding. Nuketown's not in this game, even though it looks like it. It's actually called Nuke House. And obviously from the gameplay we've seen, it looks exactly like Nuketown. Um, Shattered, so maybe that's the other map we saw in the gameplay trailer. I don't know, but I guess everything could be blown up. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I'm just taking a guess. Range, maybe like firing range and black ops, I don't know. Rocket, so maybe like ascension. Uh, container, I have no idea. Maybe you're shooting people through containers. Um, and intel, now I don't know what that is either. So I'm just going off what I think all these are. They might be different than what I'm saying. I'm just telling you my guesses. Whoops, sorry, sorry, again. Um, I'm wearing Turtle Beach and I always hit the stupid little mic. And I think it's too far now. Okay, well, there we go. Again, okay, maybe I'm too loud. I have no idea. I'm sorry if I'm loud quite. Uh, here's a full list of perks. Um, I got that and the weapons list too. I'm awesome, you guys. You better love me. Um, the full list of perks are sleight of hand, lightweight, hardline, jammer. They said jammers where when you're shooting you don't appear on the radar. Cold-blooded, so your name doesn't show up. Uh, hardwired, no idea. Toughness, no idea. Dead Silence and Flak Jacket Surplus and Marksman. Now, I don't know what some of those are, so I guess we're just going to have to wait. They didn't tell me. Um, then the fullest of attachments. I forgot I also get this too because I'm amazing. The fullest of attachments um, are weight balance, improved grip, adjustable scope, uh, quick draw handle. I don't know. I guess. Uh, extended barrel, tactical knife, bipod, under action grenade, uh, extended mag, suppressor, rapid fire, red dot sight, and ACOG sight. I don't know if you can change the uh, little, you know, reticle, reticle, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, they didn't say that. Now, the full list of weapons. Okay. Are the carbine, which is basically the commando, uh, AK 47, M16, Galil. M14, FAMAS, MP5K, Uzi, AK47U, PP19, RPK, M60, Stoner, L96, Dragonov, Stakeout, SPAS12, Striker, ASP, Python, Scorpion, CZ75, Mac11, Strella, China Lake, RPGs, Ballistic Knife, Crossbow, Tomahawk, Semtex, Semtex, um, Bouncing Betty, and the Flashbang. Now, I know Flashbang's not a weapon, but it's just listed as one, they said. So, that's all the other news I got. Um, I hope it's really getting to you, because it's getting to me how it actually is going to be like Call of Duty on the Vita. Um, uh, yeah, that's just, that's all I got. So, I know you're not going to find this on any websites, because <sighs> I'm just that awesome. So, um, hit the subscribe button, it would help a lot. Like the video if it helped you at all. Or if you just like it, because, you know, <clears throat> I, I had to pull some strings. I had to, uh, let's just say it was bad. It was a bad night. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you.